on the last episode of Dungeons and Dragons Grave of Man, I kind of just went outside the train and looked around. It's kind of boring out here. I mean, the elemental plane of Earth is sand. It's a lot of sand. Um, but I did, like, go up and down the train, and I found out there's about, like, five cars. There's a dining car, two passenger cars. Uh, then there's the sleeper car, which I didn't really go into because it seemed like everybody was busy there, and... Well, I don't want to get seen because nobody knows I'm on this train except for, you know, uh, the people I know. So that's good. Uh, but I did find out there's like this really angry looking dude in the back car and he's eating breakfast. I, that was weird. And also like the halfling is like really mad for some reason. I'm not sure about that either. Everybody's mad today. I'm just having kind of a nice time. And now I'm going to... Well, I guess the last thing is I, I found Merrick. He was cool. Uh, he sold me a a bag of, well, I mean, I guess it's kind of a bag of infinite daggers. Uh, if I put something into it, it comes back so I can just throw daggers and I don't have to worry about losing them anymore. That's cool. And then everybody showed up and we bought stuff and it was cool. And then I snuck away again because nobody can see Skitter, I guess. Yep. It's just right, an he's angry been, man. He's, he's been up to business. <laughs> I like that description of the angry breakfast eater. Yep. Yep. He's like, let go my ego! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess I will enter the car. I don't remember why I was outside, so I'm coming in now. Hello. Uh, you guys had left because uh, Merrick's store works based on doors. Oh, Who's... right. That is, that is, One uh, of you should probably statement. write down that you have Merrick's chalk, by the way. I think I did. Okay. Yes. I have not updated your sword. Uh, so, however, yeah, well, it's going to be like the um, what was it? Yeah. It's like going to be the the void blade. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> yeah. It's more kind of like an angry black tear than the gray thing I come up with. We're retconning that for now. Anyway. Eleven. Well, Eleven. I have a question for you. Yes. Your sword is very cool. Would it be cooler with the addition of fire? Possibly? At the same time, I don't know how many of these orbs can mix together before we just create something more monstrous <laughs> than this. I already mixed um, polar I, opposites. I start like twiddling the uh, the fire orb in my hand. The choice is yours. What uh, do you think? Uh, um, well, so I added the light orb. And that just yes. resulted in a radiance, really cool effect, and it could sear through most things, but it was too blinding, so I added the dark orb. And now it's sort of this middling, odd, swirling mass, and it I, I can do interesting things with it. I sort of pull it out and ignite it. And I immediately it sort of, back away. <laughs> it, 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 like, I sort of swish it back and forth, and... How would you describe it? It sort of trails. It yeah, leaves it, trails it of... looks like the handle is kind of cutting open uh, the universe in front of you, and then it kind of slowly co closes afterwards. I have a question. Does somebody else in our party have a orb? If I remember right, you guys had some upgrade orbs, some regular ones that you stowed away and never used. Well, haven't they, I... haven't they count... always been shells? I, no. I used some of my armor, and I gave each of you guys some. You had upgraded your bracers, and you had upgraded... Armor. Yeah, armor. And you mail. also found... But, I want to say you found five in a cave. Uh, you might have uh, erased that from your character I believe we used those. Uh, no, you didn't. You, this is oh. right before, the, uh, this is before the, the gate system. Wait, 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 but those were the blasty orbs. No, they no, there were regular upgrade orbs, and I believe the fire orb in the same... Oh, uh, he's right. We do have five orbs. Yeah. So you've you've got five regular orbs that you have yet to uh, have to use because you just pocketed left. them because Greg Mitri never used anything. Yes. Uh, did I find them in Lost Found? Yes. Oh yeah. You have. Uh, you probably have everything. I, you'd have to go over what uh, you what you have. I pull and out. I'll tell you if you uh, still have it. I pull out one of the upgrade orbs and put it in my left hand. And I hold fire orb in the right hand, and I go, orby time. <laughs> and I like try to mush the fire orb into the upgrade orb. Uh, it works. It's more fire now. 
Kaboom! What do you say now? Train How about we get that fiery uh, uh, action? Um, I I feel bad about I I've used three orbs at this point: one on my armor and two in my sword. Don't you have anything of in your possession that you would like to upgrade? I look at my glittery axe. Yeah, um, you can make it a fiery glittery axe. Do you think the addition of fire to glitter will be a good idea or a bad idea? It would probably make it into some kind of like... Would that make it a glitter ball? Sparkling, sparking, <laughs> fiery... Yeah, yeah, that, that would be pretty cool, I think. Well, that's all the, uh, that's all the motivation I need to do. All right, I take upgraded fire orb and I smack it on glitter axe. Okay, I'm trying to figure out exactly what this does. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm about to okay. find out. I, I'm hoping that you know, on impact, the axe will create right. a small so explosion. So I found or a something. YouTube video Searing. of a guy with glitter <laughs> hairspray and uh, a lighter. No. Okay. No, no, no. See, it creates a bunch Coincidentally, of it's oh, that's really uploaded. cool. Actually, no, this is this is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this link in uh, both both uh, streams. And then uh, Discord, and you guys get to tell me that's what it looks like now. Into the streams, and then in Discord. Okay, yeah. I look. Just like I skip also mute to halfway because that's insane. I like how he's apparently doing this indoors. By the way, holy crap, this is so cool looking. Yeah, so that's what you got now. It I like don't sparks. Yeah. Uh, Oops, it's... I'm now streaming oh, this. I oh. went onto the wrong monitor. That's okay. Uh, effectively, <laughs> it is it is just sparks. And I, I did not want to be streaming this. And it, now I can't it is just it. sparks now. Uh, the whole thing actually looks kind of charred and blackened, and the uh, the the blade of the axe definitely looks red hot now. And it doesn't can so I much still hold. Yeah, you can still hold it. Uh, generally, rule of thumb, your weapon protects you against its uses unless you do something really messed up with it or oh, actively yes, try and hurt yourself with it. Okay, uh, so is it a great axe? Uh, so it's wondrous great axe. Is it now wondrous great axe plus one or what do we call uh, this? Uh, it is. Uh, yeah, so it's a plus one flaming. So you do an extra, I want to say just a die six of fire damage. Um, but the, uh, the wondrous effect have, has been changed. It no longer does any of the spells that it did, and now it only does fire spells. Ah. So we'll have to go through that. I mean, we can, I uh, how about this? Every, uh, every spell that I can add some kind of fire effect to from the Orb of Wonder, it will then have extra fire somehow. And if I can't figure it out, then it's another fire spell. Hell yeah. I am fire... super game. Uh, it's the Axe of Burning Wonder. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was calling it the Wonderous Spider Axe. I like Axe of Burning Wonder so much better. <laughs> I I flickered the fire axe around. Now this is a weapon. This is only befitting weapon for Dimitri. I flick it around like it's Fourth of July, um, <laughs> like sparkler. <laughs> Very pretty. What did you say, Drez? I flick some sparks at Drez. Silence. Okay, he agrees with me. <laughs> yeah, he knows. What is the dwarf doing while I'm, like, sparkling all over his car? Um, <laughs> not knowing I can speak, mainly. Yeah. He's, uh... <laughs> oh, right. He has an incentive to shut up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's actually kind of backed away. Um, and you notice he's got, like, a leather-gloved hand in front of his beard so you don't set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is that enough, uh, messing around, or, uh, can we, can we get back to finding out who killed my brother? Oh, oh, yes, we were just preparing ourselves in the instance that we encounter this demon that L Morn spoke of. Uh-huh. Yes, uh, demons are, some... are very weak to fire, as we all those know. Those are some shiny bits you got there. And he just Thank kind you. of... Pushes right past. Oh, these people that he doesn't going? trust on his train are arming themselves uh, <laughs> if... against demons. 
Also, in a in a room filled with tattered and exposed upholstery, Dimitri is throwing sparks around. You, I know notice, exactly what I'm doing, Dvez. You notice things are uh, uh, maybe getting a bit shard. This this train is uh, not prepped for for outright battle. Oh, or maybe hey, it is. That, that's you, a bit... you notice the sparks don't actually burn any of the woodwork. Uh, it's mainly just the rug. Well, that has problems. One question that I That's have is... That's normal, because the I, woodwork's probably furnished and or whatever yes. it's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Phoebe had changed my blade so that it was retractable and everything, that's why I'm able to keep the void blade at bay. But in his instance, would he, when he... Let's say when he's wielding it, does it have all the sparks and the combustion going on? And when it's not in use it's, it's only cold, when he sweeps or... his ac axe around meaningfully if he's just like kind of walking around with his axe in hand he's not just sparking over everything okay that's good <laughs> yeah he is not a walking fire hazard he's only a walking fire hazard when he really wants to be okay that's good oh he's a walking fire hazard. so yeah if he walks into a barn and he's like i'm just gonna start swinging my axe around wildly whole thing goes up in flames but if he walks into a barn and he's like i'm gonna look around no All right, where are you going? What is behind this card? Are we going? Uh, is this the dining dinner car? car? This is the dining car. Uh, shit, I don't actually remember why. You... Oh, right, you were looking for the last person on the train, and for some reason, we were. Uh, it was determined that they were in the last car. Well, Skitter knows there's somebody back here, and maybe I just had him go back here because it's the only other car on the train. But so you guys reach this car, and you can see through the open door, there is a a man. Um, I guess I'll move Lorian Morn. So he is he is sitting Whoa, in kind of hell? he is sitting in one of kind of the whoop. Whoop. <laughs> he is sitting in one of I the. I thought uh, Lorian had the new mask on. Uh, he is he is sitting in one of the uh the back uh I guess kind of dining areas. Uh, didn't have time to make like new benches for it, but that's okay. Nobody cares. But um, so he looks like he's actually got a full breakfast and has been slowly kind of picking through it uh, for quite some time while uh, writing in a uh, different but kind of familiar looking journal. And uh, right now he has stopped eating because Lorian Morn is uh, pointing her sword at him <gasps> and they seem to be having quiet words mm -hmm. that you can't hear from exactly where you are. So what do you guys do? <clears throat> oh, dinner time. Okay, so you pass by the bar. Uh, the kind of like bar area you're at is more of kind of like a kitchen, uh, kitchenette thing. Uh, there's like dishes in a sink and there's a stove top and uh, some like half cooked food on the stove. It looks like whomever had been doing the cooking in here had uh, given up on it early for some reason. Who normally prepares the food on this train? Uh, my my brother Alduin. He he was a fine chef. He was damn good at it. Made all the food for everybody. Never a complaint. So would he have abandoned a a meal in the in the midst of uh, creating it? He doesn't he doesn't leave anything half finished. So whatever pulled him away, well, must have been important. Which is odd because if he was slain up in the what was it? The the sleeper car? Yeah. I then, mm. then how could he have possibly come here and been stopped in the midst of cooking and brought all the way to the front? It it doesn't make sense. Like I said, the only thing that would uh, tear him away from it is something important. So I don't know. Now we he's half ask. finished. <laughs> uh, Your what's half finished? Hey. Dress me. So now, now he is half finished. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> okay. What can you tell me about the uh, other passenger on this car? I have never seen him before. I, well, if he's who I think he is, then he's our client. He's he's the man that, that purchased the, uh, the cargo. Well, but... Then. And Sounds like we were not not going to get to the bottom of this unless we have a little conversation with him. Well, what do you think? Are you are you familiar with this Lorian fellow? Uh, 
uh, lady? Yeah, uh, no. Well, she, uh, we have lady, said yes. cumulatively about five words to each other, and that was, four of those were mine. <laughs> have you, uh, don't remind me, have you talked to Lorien yet, um, Elorin? Uh, no, she uh, she keeps with herself, and she didn't respond to me when I tried to initiate conversation. The only person she has talked to is you, actually. What did we say? <laughs> she told you that there were demons on the train, well, and then I, she kept going. I overheard it. Yeah. She, did, she didn't yeah. say it, like, super quietly, but it was very clearly to you. you yeah, as she in... said that to Ellerin, right? Nope. No. Oh, it was you, to me? Yeah. Man, I was so tired when we played this. Like, literally, I wasn't able to, <laughs> to focus yeah. on a damn maybe, thing. Maybe That's she cool. recognized that you were a fellow paladin. Oh, yeah, perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, now, Drez, where precisely did you find that that diary? Drez, uh, who would be who would think a lizard would talk? What a crazy idea! Am I right? Uh, you said your lizards could talk. Oh. That was your sales pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I would think lizards could talk because they can talk. What a crazy day. You you Let's notice go. that he's got his uh wrench alight again and he's got that suspicious look. He may have forgotten about your your extremely bad cover cover story. Excuse momentarily. me, I lied to you multiple days ago. That's my excuse. Can birds' lies get bad enough to break Shell's spell? <laughs> um, I think we're already there. Uh, no, it's just no. It seems reasonable the course of action. Well, so we're part of it is him, he fine. believes he believes that Elrin is here to help. He truly, honestly Alarin. believes that. Oh, sorry, Elrin. Um, I don't know why I get the mix, mixed up, but he truly, honestly believes. I say it that, wrong every time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he truly, honestly believes that Elrin is here to help, and he knows that you're Alaren's ally, so he's kind of willing to accept the fact that you're a lying sack of shit for some reason. <laughs> uh, because the only person that seems actually willing to help him, apart from uh, Alaren, <laughs> is the lying sack of shit, so he's willing to overlook it momentarily. At least this time you're not poisoning someone's food for some reason. For whatever it's worth, this is the first time I've ever played a character that I think is definitively chaotic neutral, and I have to say, it's really, really fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, I will, I will, I'll put one of the sending stones on, and sort of like a, a britch-like collar for Drez. Now, oh, that's clever. Me? Yeah, Have to we anybody that how sees... they work? Because I feel like the explanation changes every time. Anybody that sees Drez now is going to be really confused, because he's got like... <laughs> A collar, he's got Air Jordans on, he's got back <laughs> paints really that kind badass. of looks like a really, really crazy tortoise, and mm -hmm. uh, he's got, um, uh, yeah. like, some metal bracers. It's not that hard to explain, honestly, Wander, you just have to accept that I'm Hokage. <laughs> I just want to see some fan art of this, like, sooner rather I, than I, later. I need to just sit down and modify the, uh, the, the, the modify baby dress right. art that this I've got. It's an incredibly just... confusing right. concept. Let's get back into it, if I may say so. Oh, I, sorry, Excuse just me. one last tangent on this. Okay. This reminds me of those, like, realistic hedgehog Sonic arts, where they've got, like, a little hedgehog with the shoes. Mm -hmm. and the oh, coloration. yeah. See what uh, I'm saying. Well, now I'm just imagining Dress's run cycle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, all right. It's both too fast and too little motion at the same time. I'll let uh, the... Those are the best of run cycles. I'll let uh, <laughs> Aladdin, Aladdin and uh, Dress need to have that little talky time, I guess. Well, so do I you was... talk into these or do you think into them? At this you have point? to whisper into them. You, you have to whisper into them. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm, like, behind the bar, so she's, like, bending, like, over the bar to reach this lizard. <laughs> Get on with conversation. She looks like she's just robbing the place. <laughs> it was under the bed in the, the tar room. I, what, what, what? Ash? What was it? Ash. Charcoal? Yeah. Ash. Yeah, so, and that was... Catch him. And if this is the client, and the client owns the box and also is the author of the diary, then that means that 
the dwarf's brother was incinerated in this man's room. And oh, that would make that would make sense. There are no more I'm remaining not in this conversation. people, are there, on the entire ship? As far as we know. Well, Based off of the intel we have thus far, do you believe that this is the man who rented out the room that your brother died in? I... I mean, I... Does he actually know about the... Yeah, he does know about the journal. And it's like, I guess if you found his his journal in that room, that would make it his. Unfortunately, again, I'm I'm just the... Uh, I'm, I'm just the, the... The engineer. I don't... I don't talk to people. This is more than I've talked to anyone all year. Just being around you makes my skin crawl. Anyway, uh... Oh. Yeah, if you... If you think so, then I'll believe you, because I'm not... I'm not an investigator. I'm no detective. He's gonna head for the man. He's got his uh, wrench in full zappy mode, and you hear him yelling at the yelling at the other guy. Wow, I didn't realize this person could atrocious. be could be worse interrogator than me. But what do you know? Why he, would you his, throw somebody? Why would you blow somebody up if you could throw them off the train? He has got a six charisma and an eight wisdom. It's mostly oh. an intelligence <laughs> and a couple other things. He is he is an artificer, not a people person, and so he's got. Oh, zappy wrench and some hefty strength, and that's about it. A lot of, but use uh, your charming ways to cool off a tense situation. Uh, I mean, I'll definitely join in the interrogation, probably. You don't but want me to try. I'm like 0 for 3 on conversations so far. <laughs> okay, so what's what? is the conversation okay. that I'm hearing already. Because so, I know that Morn and the dwarf are probably threatening him with weapons at this point. So uh, you notice Lorian Morn has kind of stood down and is actually like kind of disengaging. Okay. Um, Maybe just letting uh, Brungren take uh, take care of it. But uh, Brungren is yelling at the man, more or less just immediately demanding answers. Like, why did you kill my brother? And what were you doing? And... Why are you here having breakfast as though everything is normal? And the uh, the the angry, dour-looking man. He he looks no more or less angry now than he was with Lorian Morn, though maybe a bit more irritated because somebody's actually saying words to him. But uh, this voice might take a try or two. But uh, you, as you approach him, he he kind of looks away from the angry dwarf and he's like, ah. Let's see. This is uh, some someone a little bit more reasonable. I see. Well, uh, can I help you, or are you just going to point that sword at me too? At this point, it's just a hilt. <laughs> <laughs> While I stand corrected, the uh, matter stands. Why are you bothering me? Well, as you may have, uh, I mean, recently heard from my good friend here, the. A dwarf. He's the conductor? Yes. His brother was slain in one of I the other cars. I gathered that much. And you think I had something to do with it? Well, obviously you're back in this rear car and with all of us other passengers Young in the lady, center. I have been eating breakfast for approximately 2 hours, 13 minutes, and 36 seconds. Or, well, was. Take off about ten minutes because it got interrupted. Yes, uh, noted. So, you could not have passed betwixt the front and the rear of the train. Of course not. I, I have been here since before you got on the train, assuming you were the ones that got on when the got, this god-awful contraption stopped. At the same time, were there any witnesses to your arriving in this car? There are very few people on this train. I don't suppose there are any witnesses for almost anyone. Now, because you have an extended stay on this train, did you rent out any of the rooms in the sleeper car? Of course. Car? I don't sleep with the common folk. What do you What do you think I am? Uh, mm -hmm. yes. And what was the room that you rented out? 
He sighs. Just kind of looks at his watch. He looks at his watch often. I take it you've found something or someone that makes you think I had something to do with that lovely chef. I, yes. And let me see it. Dress? I don't have it. Oh, you don't have it anymore? No. Oh, I have it. Uh, he gave <laughs> oh. it to I haven't had it for a while. He gave it to me, and then I gave it to Dwarf. You to... took it from me. It was you, Chef. Dwarf? The Dwarf either gave it back to me, or maybe I'm still holding on to One it. One of you two has which. it. The Dwarf ain't, ain't holding on to it. Oh, actually, no, maybe, maybe Shell I literally took it from me and then did oh. baby voice and I, t- and I left. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, I did take I it forgot. from him. Uh, and, but and did she I... was like, very good. I, I think I read it out, but did I give it to the dwarf to inspect or was he still threatening? Uh, was he still Let's threatening? Let's just say you have it and we move on. Okay. <laughs> um, I will I'll lift the journal up and show it to him, but I don't let him take it because, I mean, who knows what kind of magic is at work here uh so i, I this is just my internal ah, thoughts i'm not saying so it. you've raided my personal belongings on top of just accusing me of murder i see how it is we had to inspect the room after his brother's fault. demise one at a time i don't have time to listen to two people at once no that's fine it's fine she's talking yes miss this was found in the premises, located close to the body of the victim. So you're saying the, there is a dead man in my room? He turns to the engineer. You, dwarf, I demand a new room and a thorough cleaning of my belongings. Brungard is just like, <laughs> smoldering. He doesn't even have a response to that. That is... Remarkably cold. <laughs> this man does not look like a man that gives a shit about anybody other than his breakfast, and that's not a person. <laughs> Was there anything amongst your belongings that could have caused an explosion or some kind of conflagration? Ma'am, apart from my wardrobe of fine shirts and pants, I don't have any belongings. I travel lightly, save for my journals. I do so love a good good catalogue of events. Now, I know this was classified information betwixt you and the dwarves here, but you were transporting a kind of object, a, a box. That is not something I am at liberty to tell you. Do you believe it could be responsible for no. what occurred? Really? Then what are its contents? I am not at liberty to tell you. And if I were to tell you, then, I well, you'd have uh, an entire, well, say, half of the Merchant Prince Trade Federation. Uh, the, the, the Jani Merchant Trade Federation uh, after you. And, well, I mean, my, my benefactor would be... Uh, after you as well, and I think you would prefer to not be on the run any more than you already are. And he looks you up and down, kind of appraisingly. Clearly not. We've heard of the princes and how their squabbles play out. I, the car be- before this one actually shows signs of the carnage that would ensue. Yes, dreadful business, that. Luckily got on the train after... So I didn't have to smell the, uh, the damage. Were you aware that there was a genie that had been hired to safeguard your yes, possessions? Yes, Ormond. I picked him myself. Wonderful fellow. He Very was... polite. Fortunately, he has been stabilized, but he was also attacked by whatever killed, uh, was it Brun... Can you tell me his Brungren. name? Brungren. Brungren's, uh, brother. Well, I mean, I know him on a professional sense... As in, he's the only other person I've talked to on this train other than Alduin. I wouldn't say that we are friends. I'm not the kind of person that would have many of those. But you would, you would vouch that it 
would be beyond his ability to what? inflict the kind of damage murder that a dwarf no he's perfectly capable of murdering a dwarf hmm he's perfectly capable of murdering most of us on this train except- and yet something was capable of almost murdering him that is not my concern. It it would be if all of us are imperiled by this this thing. Morn, do you believe that this is the work of a demon? Uh, Lorian just slowly nods. Hmm. Look, am I under suspicion, or can I go back to my breakfast? I truly do not have answers for you. I may I hate look... to say it, but I think that uh, just by virtue of being on this terrain, uh, we can't rule anything out and all people are under suspicion. So I then. apologize for the uh, problems that that may ensue for you, what but trust us, we will only interrupt you. your breakfast. What stops you from being a suspect? Nothing. I don't see why I am under any less suspicion than you are considering none of this happened until you got on this train. At the same- No, that's totally fair, but, uh... Then I see no dwarf. reason why I should be under exact, well, menace of bodily harm right now, and I see no reason why my breakfast should be interrupted. Well, you see, we have witnesses to credit our alibi that we were, in fact, in the car with the other passengers... You, however, being separated from the rest does create some suspicion, and the fact that one of the victims perished in your room. Were you actually in the car with everyone else when a man died? Can you bring me one of those witnesses? Again, I see no reason why I am the primary suspect here. I have been here for the past two hours, and you have only been on this train for one And who did you speak with last or interact with last before coming into this car? Alduin. He was, well, he was making me breakfast. I had to finish it myself, the nerve. He was working and then his, uh, his sending stone, uh, caught his attention and he ran out of the car rather hastily. Oh. Hmm. And then he never returned. Now... I can't... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. He... He... I, I'm going to retract that. I forgot. The reason why he ran out of the room... I I kind of fabricated it. No. The reason why he ran out of the room was because the train stopped. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So you guys don't know he got a... Well, I guess you guys now know he he got a call. Um, We'll say maybe you saw that. Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> he returned turned to this car and then ran out after getting a call. But he had stopped breakfast specifically because of the train stopping. There we go. I see, but he did not return to finish no. cooking your meal? No. I had to make it myself. And you notice, like, the food is kind of burnt. Hmm. <laughs> well, th- thank <laughs> you, sir. Food. This This will aid us with our timeline, and... Let's see. So, it's Gru... I I can't... Brungren? Brungren? Yeah, B-R-U-N-G-R-E-N. Okay, I'll just have to make... I'll have to make a mental note that it's like Brun, as in like... Yeah. Brown, Grun. I just ran it through a random name generator and I got (laughs) Brungren. You're so close to making another Dolph (laughs) Grundlegrit. Yes, he did. So, this explains why he left to probably welcome us onto the train but then he received a call and didn't return at all no hmm with that he was gone and so went my chef and my delicious breakfast he looks down at it kind of mournfully as he like pushes a burnt sausage across his plate now Bringren I uh, the sending stone who was your brother connected to? Uh, every every car in the uh, every car in the train. I, he points it like a bell, which I don't have drawn. You ring that, and he he knows. He instantly is informed that someone requires his presence. 
That's just how it works. So a bell was rung, which called your brother. Yeah, I. I see. And there's only one in every car. Uh, well, two. One, one at the front, one at the back, and one for every one of the sleeper rooms. I see. So, um, is, I suppose there's no way or method to find out which bell had rung for him. I not, mean, it would make sense if it was Not unless you had a sending stone and then rang the bell, but even then. Wait, had a sending stone and rang... What, what do you mean by well, that? Well, yeah, his sending stone lights up depending on which which uh, bell is rung. It's color-coordinated. Made it myself. Color-coordinated? So if you ring this bell, he rings the bell, and... Uh, oh, sir, uh, what color did you see the, the sending stone flash? I... I didn't see it. Um, let's see. Who would that be? Drez, you hear, like, a weird noise in the distance. Actually, you heard it as soon as he rang the bell. Um... Perception? I I rolled a passive for you. Oh. So, you rolled a natural 20. Um, so you heard a really, like, weird, distorted noise like way far away it was super soft a distorted noise yes distorted I mean, it sounded it sounded like a bell. what it sounded like a bell oh wait, wait when would, when hmm. did this happen just now just now yes uh, what did he do he he rang the Meow. bell okay oh bye <laughs> okay so uh can i quickly just do a Perception check around where um, uh, the the guy was cooking. Yes. Okay. Ninja lizard is on okay. case. <laughs> so, uh, what are you looking for specifically? That'd be investigation, but I think it's both oh, the same sure. stat, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, they're the same thing. Okay. Um, I'm looking for... Uh, I just want to see generally what the state of things was that he left it in. Like, did he leave in a hurry? Did he put stuff away? Or did he... Uh, like, it's, hard, sort of it's hard to specifically behind? tell. It does look like uh, it was... Uh, it was probably left behind. You notice that there was, like, some half-chopped chives and a couple other things. And there's another... Uh, there's another... <laughs> there's, like, a carton of eggs that has been utterly demolished... And it is covered in uh, smashed eggs and blood. And what? the skillet what? has, like, blood all over it. And there's, like, just burnt shit all over the place. You're having a hard time finding out exactly what went on. Either this guy was a disaster chef or somebody's messed with the uh, scene of the crime. Really? Or, th or those eggs were uh, compromised. Huh. Um, that's really interesting. I'm actually going to uh, signal to Ellerin to come over here and look at this. Wait, and I'm just going to share with her uh, what they find. So there's there's blood on these eggs. Before you get any wrong ideas, I will be the first to admit that that was me. Did you did you, did did you, you cut, cut yourself? yourself? I have never <laughs> cooked in my life before, let alone touched an egg. Damnable things. <laughs> you notice his hands are like bandaged. <laughs> I I almost feel bad for you. Do you want me to cook you something real quick? I could try. That would be wonderful. Assuming that uh, you know how to cook. Um I can Those cook you very traditional. I would not. I would not ask another man to try his hand at at dealing with those horrible things. What what kind of eggs do you provision on this train? Uh, chicken cow eggs. Chicken <laughs> chicken <laughs> eggs. <laughs> cow <laughs> eggs. <laughs> probably just no. normal eggs, and he's just that inept. <laughs> but eggs eggs are made out of very thin layers of calcium. I I don't quite know how that would. Cut someone's hand open. I go over and try to crack one of the eggs to see what the hell happens. It, it's a normal. Well, roll a cooking check. Well, he probably <laughs> used like a knife or something. 
on, at some stage. <laughs> it's just, it just like, was that cut bad. an egg. You, you <laughs> do actually notice a knife. There are like sausages and, then a and other things there. Uh, I don't know what the cooking skill will be. Just, we'll go with survival. Well, first off, what color okay. is the blood? Yeah, you meant it. Uh, it is it is red blood. Okay. <laughs> he is in fact the first living human you guys have met, or half elf. You're not quite sure. He's got kind of long features. But uh, no, the egg cracks open normally, and you got it in the skillet in one try. <laughs> Actually, you're you're cooking it up pretty good. <laughs> all right, so I guess I'm going to scramble this egg for this dude. Oh, wait, but where's all the blood? Uh, it's elsewhere. Okay, well, where I, is I the like blood? to imagine that in a critical fail, he also managed to cut himself on an eggshell. <laughs> I was That's kind of hoping that would happen. This was going. <laughs> I, I was actually, like, mildly hoping for it just because it would be really funny. Or just okay, so there's, like, so there's, blood. there's, like, a lot of blood. It's, like, all over the place here. A lot oh, of geez. blood? How much? <laughs> Like, concerning amounts for a man that was just trying to make an omelet. <laughs> this oh, wait. Is the egg done? Like a lie? What? Is the egg done? Uh, yes, the egg is done. You have uh, properly right, scrambled an egg. It was not I very I put hard. it onto plates. I serve it with a uh, hot sauce. Aww, and then I come over. I don't know if that's enough blood to actually, like, drain a man. Uh, it's not, it, you don't know if that's enough blood to drain a man, but he does look anemic. But he might also just always look anemic. You're really not sure. It also appears to have the word wow in it. <laughs> okay, like, so you wow, serve, that's a lot of blood. I serve, I serve you serve egg. his eggs and he's like, well, it's not as good as that dwarves, but this is pretty good. I, have you considered... I apologize for wasting your time, and I hope that you can forgive us as we conclude our, vet our investigation here. Forgiven, forgotten, and moved on from. Now, would you please get out of the dining car so I may enjoy these eggs in peace and quiet? Sure. I, I really wish Res that in this universe we had DNA testing. That would be, <laughs> that'd be so so nice right now <laughs> okay so drez you went off while well, this is happening <laughs> in search of noises where are you oh you're back here uh so as you come through the room uh i i guess is here i'm gonna drag you back uh let's go car by car or more specifically things have changed by the time you hit this car so everyone else is dead uh <laughs> Not, oh no! Not exactly. So if everyone else was dead, I would be like, "We're going to the the front car and just detaching the rest. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Nothing so, else matters uh, anymore." The front car might have the issue in it. So uh, Gelato is moved, and she's kind of cowering, <gasps> and uh, and you notice that uh, uh, let's see that Reginald is kind of like passed out on one of the couches, like normal. Uh, he's like more passed out than usual. <laughs> like his micronaps, his micronaps were like him just kind of like slumping and then waking back up. This is like knocked out. It kind of looks, it kind of looks like his spine lost cohesion and then he just draped himself halfway over a chair in the floor. <gasps> oh, you dun, can hear dun, him dun. snoring. Oh, oh. It really reduces a lot of the threat. <laughs> <laughs> what an incredibly sinister situation. Oh, he's just fallen over awkwardly and is sleeping. I, I thought that you meant that his like back had been broken and No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. He's just sleeping how top no, of sleep was just which is just on shapes. <laughs> so I assume uh you I assume you you pay no attention to the the fleshy. Boom, people. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Tail whip. Okay, boom. you tail whip in the face. <laughs> Does it reduce his defense? Uh, okay, you actually managed to wake him up. Oh. Okay. And you hear you hear as you scamper off. What? 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 Here's That's... the tail whip sound effect. That's her problem. He has a small, <laughs> doughy face. Oh, you're, that's mean. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then you just need a chance to get past that Anoimatron armor. <laughs> Truth. Okay. So, you have... 
Um, you have escaped uh, the Anoimatron into the uh, the sleeper <laughs> car room. The door is open, and which door? Uh, the door into the car is open. There's a door between every car. Oh right. Yep. Mm. And are any of the rooms open right now? Uh, so you guys never closed any of the doors. Uh, That's they convenient. don't close automatically, so there. Which uh, raises the question: Have any of them been closed? The first three doors uh, are closed and have remained closed, and the last two are open. Have they never and been checked? Besides, open. when I went along the window. Yet, yeah, and even then, you didn't look too hard at what's inside any of them. Let's so see. could be kind of anything. And I don't know where the sound came from, right? Just no, this you direction, just which is literally like the, the whole train. The beginning of the train. So it begins. We could double okay. check the room that had the weird shit happening in it. Okay. Make sure you don't make. Oh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter about the footprints it, anymore. <laughs> probably not. Oh no, we don't want anyone to figure out that somebody was in the murder room. <laughs> okay. Try to be sneaky this time. Okay, so I want say that. a pair of perception checks. Two perception checks. Yep. Mm, for two different things. Okay. Well, oh cool. no. <laughs> so wow, I have uh, a big bonus. <laughs> you don't find anything uh really out of ordinary in the murder room. All right, then let's try the almost murder room. There is no almost murder. There is a se severe lack of gin in here. Perception anyway. <laughs> okay. Oh, now. <laughs> yeah. So you you look around and you don't you don't really see much of anything. There is honestly no signs of a struggle or really any movement. It's just the jinn is gone. Um but as you like look around and you kind of like you kind of like wonder like what's what what exactly is going on? Where'd the guy go? You kind of hear uh, a a shifting noise. <gasps> And this thing drops down above you. It's it's small. It's like if you took Skitter and made him horrible. Uh, is it a creature or a size. helmet? It is a creature. Is uh, it like an imp thing? Yeah, it's it's thin, emaciated to the point of like mostly being bone. I mean, it's effectively Andrew if he had a demonic <laughs> uh, makeover. Zoom in on that so you can see it. Zing. It's, it's Andrew wrapped in electrical tape. <laughs> yeah, uh, or a trash bag maybe. <laughs> But, uh, so it's, it's small, it's got, like, little fluttery wings, and it almost cackles at you as it rolls for initiative. Why is it like... <laughs> I have a yeah. bad record with nice. weird skull faces good coming at me. Oh, thanks. I, I was just trying to figure out my, like... But it is... Last time I saw something like this, kernel. I died. <laughs> yeah. Last... Don't, don't be silly. Last two times you saw something like this, you died. I've only died I, once. And you notice you as died it's, twice. like moving around it, really what it's uh doing uh actually seeing as it beat you an initiative uh it doesn't realize that you're like a, a living breathing uh adventurer it thinks you're a lizard with dumb shoes uh so it actually <laughs> is just going to reach down and grab you it's not going to do anything more real, than that and it's really bad to, for this guy's it is it is just going to manhandle you and flip you around kind of idly and it's like sniggering to itself the entire time and as it's like flipping you around and you're not really used to being manhandled by creatures larger than you yet um but you notice that your skin is just being covered in soot oh. just non-stop soot Ooh. yeah creepy. that is really creepy actually so what do you do it's your turn how big is this room uh the room is uh it's about 30 feet across by uh, it's 30 by 20 give or take Let's see here. Oh, that's interesting. <coughs> this doesn't even have a vocal component. <laughs> um, I am going to do something a little surprising. Uh, suddenly, <laughs> the room has two quetzalotls in it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. He can summon lizards. Uh, <laughs> no, by Quetzalcoatl, you mean, birth. like the bird? 
Here, lizard I'm going to give things? you a kobold and a lizard folk icon. I'll give them to you. <laughs> and then you can tell me what they do. I have a link. Okay. Okay, they are both yours to control. <laughs> so, effectively, it is holding you. Uh, I'm going to enlarge it a little bit so it's not like this tiny thing. There it is. Okay. Uh, so, it's got you. And you summon two critters. Did you put them in the podcast? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, That's a lot. That's Close. Can you send me the spell? Because the problem is I don't quite trust D and D Wiki because it's filled with homebrew. For one hour, I can summon uh, two beasts of challenge rating one or lower. Okay. Or huh. one of challenge two, or you know, because I'm not I'm not letting you summon these things. <laughs> these are these are homebrew creatures, one hundred percent. Is that a homebrew creature? Yeah, it is. If you scroll to the bottom, it says main page 5e homebrew, 5e creatures. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you can find me something that is just about on par, I'll totally let you summon them. Like, let's uh, let's look up, like, a 5e crocodile. I found it on a different page, but yeah, I don't have any official resources. Yeah, I, I'd stay away from uh, the 5e wiki, because you get a lot of... Um, but there's no other bullshit. sources to use and for my character. You know what? I'm looking at the crocodile, and... Uh, it's a half challenge rating and has more HP than it, so this might be okay. Uh, let me just, let me just see damage versus not. So, Crocodile is... Uh, yeah. I think the only thing I'm going to do is reduce the damage. Because I think 2 die 8 plus 3 is a little bit much. You get uh, 2 die 6 plus 3 instead. And I don't think it gets the grapple either because that's a little bit strong. Okay. There we go. Yeah, homebrew is scary. I'd, I'd try and stay away from it because there's some uh, like well, ridiculous nonsense. Do you have better resources for me to use? Because I need uh, resources for my class. I, mostly I'm just uh, suggesting... I have a monster manual. Uh, let me see if I can find a better one. What is the challenge rating on a giant crocodile? Challenge five, son of a bitch. Mm -mm. Um, Do you want me to get the handbook and look up smaller critters? Yeah. Because I know that I can. you can summon like pseudo dragons and stuff. They might be tiny. What is Don John? Let's see. Monsters by challenge rating. Let's see if I can find you a couple of challenge rating one uh, animals. Okay, so we've got... it. So, what can you exactly summon? Uh, anything from challenge rating one to t uh, Any... one fourth to two, and the, num and the number of them I get is based on the challenge rating. Oh. Uh, you okay with just summoning four crocodiles instead? Because that's probably easiest. You said they were half challenge? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so there'd be four. Okay, here's Crocodile. This is official rules, and you might like this better anyway. Because, yeah, I just want to stay away from homebrew. I don't, I, I don't mind if this actually gives you a boost. I just, homebrew does scary shit, and we don't no, really want fair. that. No, that's fair. Okay, so you summon... Uh, you summon four Crocodiles into the room. Unless you want to... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> unless you want to rethink this. <laughs> are, are they at least as friends? Yes. <laughs> It'd okay. be really weird if they weren't. You just summon them. Adult they... crocodiles can grow roughly 19 feet long. <laughs> and they move so wait, very which, fast on land. Which spell is this? Is this just summon animal? <laughs> this is this is just conjure animals. Okay. So crocodiles suddenly... are bad tempered and very likely to attack adult humans. <laughs> so suddenly well, the room they're gets not crocodiles, they're fey creatures, they're fey spirits taking the shape of crocodiles. Yeah, so suddenly oh, this room yeah. gets really lizardy. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the image of it picking up a little lizard and laughing at okay. it and then the room fills with scales. <laughs> did you uh did you did you get the website I sent you? 
Yeah. Okay, roll crocodiles. <laughs> roll crocodiles. Oh my god. If you want, just so you like, don't have to like roll their multiple initiative damage or something? Die, uh, no, they're going to use your in initiative, but they all have attacks. I can roll them for you, but uh, it's one die 20 plus four. And let's just say they do seven damage instead of rolling four die 20 plus, you know, four <laughs> different attacks. That's a pain in the ass. I mean, you can if you want to actually roll damage. Um, I mean, they're, what is this freaking value? Oh, it's 1d20 plus 4 for the attack, then 1d10 plus 2 for the damage? Yeah. I'm not used to, I'm not used to the way this page is formatted. Well, they also have grapples. That's yeah, so good I, news. You actually got an upgrade for this. I just want to stay away from homebrew. Because homebrew I, I would agree. gets messy. Plus, I don't want to get the angry comments from nerds. Yeah, being like, <laughs> they're using overpowered because like that. Because that's avoidable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's have... Uh, let's have all four of them try, try to grapple the uh, target. Because <laughs> that'll be fun. Okay, can you quick look up grapple rules while I get this going? And roll your four attacks to see how many uh, actually get it. They call that the quad code, code dial. Speed becomes zero, can't benefit from speed bonuses. It ends if the grappler is incapacitated. Condition also ends if effect removes the grappled creature from reach of the grappler. Okay. So it just means you can't move. Okay. Because, yeah, grapple in, th in third edition was wacky. Oh, 3.5, like, wrestle stuff was like a whole type of combat you had to look up basically yeah i i actually like to play luchador characters because you could like wrestle things and just destroy them mm -hmm. yeah uh, this is completely different so it really does actually just uh it, it just locks a dude down okay so those are the attack roll oh we know there's four of them those are the attack rolls Huh. Do any of them do it? Okay. You actually, three of them, uh, three of them just latch onto this thing. Roll damage. Oh boy. We're gonna have a party. This is funny as hell. This is really <laughs> amusing. Alright, one more? Uh, you said three of them, right? Yeah. I only, sure see, I only see two. Imp Demon's like, huh? Three, four, six. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. It split it up weirdly there. If you notice, it I says think like... I must have changed to the next yeah. minute or something. Yeah. And so oh, I yeah. So decided to create a new it. heading yeah. for me. Okay. So they just start uh, ripping this thing apart. Whoa. <laughs> uh, so it, it takes 13 damage. I mean, it's not it's not as bad as if, uh, like, Dimitri had hit him probably. But he is currently just locked down and super upset. So it is going to... What's it going to do? Does it figure out that the magical lizard is a magical lizard? Or is it just... Uh, no, it realizes it realizes it's got a magical lizard in its clutches. And it's going to go for you. Um. So... Oh, wait. Oh, this is great. Um, oh, wait. Hang on a second. Until the grapple ends, the target is restrained. Oh. Which is another let's effect. Take a look at that. Uh, so speed is zero. Uh, attack rolls against the restraint. creature have advantage. Uh, it has its attack rolls has disadvantage, and it has a and it has a disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Jesus. Okay. So first and foremost, it's going to try and get out. So it wrestles out of. Uh, it wrestles. Oh wait, no. Let me look at restrained. I assume it it doesn't. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have any uh, disadvantage on trying to get out. So it manages to get out of one, so I'm just going to move the crocodiles that aren't grappling him off. I'm just going to go with this. Okay, so it manages to get out of two of them, and then it's going to try and sting you. What is it doing to misses. get out? Uh, it, it's trying to, like, wrestle itself free of four crocodiles that have... I mean, you're effectively trying to draw and quarter this thing. And no, so I'm you're... just wondering what the what is the skill or maneuver uh, or whatever uh, that's athletics. doing to escape. Athletics. Athletics? Yep.
I can't it, find like anything that makes okay. grapple end besides a grappled creature the can use its action to escape. To do so, it must succeed on a strength or a dexterity check contested by your strength. Uh, so with the crocodiles, it's a DC twelve to get out. He did not succeed on many of them. Oh, so there's he's, even more menus to go through. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's messy. So he he tries to get you with his tail during it all, um, but he misses. And you notice it's got kind of like a wicked stinger. Uh, roll crocodile and whatever you want to do. At this yeah. point, it's dropped you. You are you are uh, not in its hand anymore. So for my turn, I'm going out the door. And I'm calling out to Alarin and Dimitri that shit is going down <laughs> in the genie car. Okay, so uh, okay. just by way, sheer, I, uh, just by sheer distance, you guys, you have two turns before the um, before the uh, help arrives. So it's like a turn per car. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yep. Uh, so you've called for we help. Must be sprinting. <laughs> yeah. Roll, roll crocodile. Actually, rolling is fun. Turn for car. There's the the attack rolls. Okay, so oh, if it if it loses its dex, let me figure out cuz its AC goes down. Uh All right. Uh every single one of those hits roll damage. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> This and, thing, and, this thing's armor class is mostly dexterity. So there's also the issue where uh, one of the wasn't one of them still grappled or something. Uh, two of them were holding him. Two were holding. Right. Yeah, the two so of them were close. So to it holding. also had disadvantage. It, it, that meant all of those attacks had advantage. So we'd yeah. roll again if they didn't make yeah, it. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> you're good. Okay. Roll roll crocodile damage. So 19, 20, 22. Okay. So they're they're destroying this thing, and that was your action. Okay, so it is one, <laughs> two, three. It's fucked. All right, uh, it's your turn. What are you gonna do? Oh god, I'm going to do fun. You have got a captive imp being drawn and quartered by four crocodiles. <laughs> so he didn't escape any of them. No, this thing has no strength and no they're dexterity. Just, oh, they're just gonna hold him. Yeah. They're just going to hold him for a turn. This thing would have been a problem if it was you on your own, but you have help. Listen, <laughs> I had two spellcasts remaining, and now I have one. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the good one. <laughs> the other one sucks. <laughs> I have had a long day, and I've changed form three times. <laughs> and I haven't had sleep. It's crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to withhold action for hopefully either Alarn and Dimitri arriving or it breaking free of any of them. Okay. That would be uh, hilarious if after all this is just busted out. So what is the action it, it's ready, you're readying? Because if you're trying to react, you have to have... Uh, I, I think I'm, I'm going to rule this. Uh, they're holding can... action on just re-grappling if it escapes. Okay. Oh, so you you and your crocodiles are just going to hold on we're to just it. just going to wait yep. here for a moment Okay. while, while witnesses arrive. Okay, so it is. It's just going to keep struggling. They should have. It should have like one turn before they arrive. Okay, so two things happen. One, uh, it it manages to, to get out of one of them, and then with kind of this like Herculean heave, it manages actually to get out of all of them and flings itself up to the ceiling. What? And then it goes invisible. <gasps> Or disappears, you're not really sure, but it's invisible. You can still hear it. Oh, great. Is it? Is it my turn? Yeah, so you guys arrive. Uh, where's my token? Uh, you probably back to the dining car. Side. I yeah. have to move it. Yeah. It's car by car. Well, if that's happening, then this <laughs> tan-looking one on the left is closing the door. <laughs> Wait, which way does the door open? Out or in? Uh, they slide. They slide? Yeah, they're sliding doors. How do you... Uh, how, somebody closes the door. <laughs> okay. To stop it from getting out. I immediately bust in and open the door. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Gruk Mitri, you have no idea what's going on, but you have busted into a room and there are four crocodiles everywhere. And they're I looking up into the sky. The this crocodile. <laughs> Alright, roll to crocodile. 
roll to crocodile. That's a verb. I'm, we're going with uh, it. All right, I smack a do the crocodile next to okay. me. Okay, you you hit that crocodile. It is it's looking bad. It's not dead, <laughs> but it's looking <laughs> bad. I'm here to help. <laughs> You're you're not uh, nothing, bird. <laughs> Those are two, mine. You do two die eight plus, I think more than five. Oh, this is a this got the set up incorrectly. My yeah. apologies. Uh, it doesn't yeah, that's, matter. But this is fine. No, I, you kill the crocodile. Oh, okay, whatever. So nearest crocodile just croaks, kind of fades two back into energy. Plus four energy. plus one plus yeah five. plus another die six because fire damage. Oh yes, okay. It explodes be... into a uh, a pile of burning glitter. <laughs> I would feel bad if that wasn't a fake animal. Fake animal? What the hell does that mean? Do you know what I am? Have you been paying attention? No. No. So why did you summon them, Drez? There's an invisible something in here. It oh. keeps laughing at me. Uh, also, you're covered in soot. What's, what's okay, going on? Okay, I'm going to need you guys to roll initiative. Initiative. Oh, okay. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I, I assume you just mean okay, that we're we going into the existing initiative, yep, or yep. what? Yeah, uh, so figuring them out. They got the... Uh, Grok Mitri got his surprise round. Um, Alarm, you can also do something, but you spent it talking. Um, so, you guys are in an empty room. Well, not you're in an empty corridor. There is a, a room that Grakmitri has smashed into and killed a crocodile. And uh, you do not know actually what is going on. I mean... I the imp does not immediately attack back, though, so... I could solve this with a spell. The problem is Fairy it's a fire? concentration spell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't just fairy fire. I mean, at this point, have we garnered the dwarf's trust enough to... I don't know. <laughs> I think so. But I can't metagame. I don't know. If not, he's going to be really curious about why there's a bunch of crocodiles in his, in his train. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I mean, it's it's the only thing I can think of to like track down this thing. So uh, I'm just gonna have to risk it. I'm gonna have to cast fairy fire so that we can see it. Okay, so you cast fairy fire, and almost immediately the imp that's been hiding up in the rafters uh, gets outlined, and you can see him again. And then it's his turn. He is going to. Fly actually at the window. What? And he kind of like poofs into a cloud of ash. <clears throat> floofs through the window and now he's outside. And it kind of makes a rude gesture. <laughs> <laughs> and then the train is gone. My Quetzalcoatls could have flown after him. <laughs> Wait, you mean the train is gone? Or... Well, the train's still moving. Oh, okay. It but... just went out. So you guys don't know where this thing is, but almost immediately, uh, Brun Brungren and Lorien uh, come huffing up behind you because one of them is very heavily armored and the other one is kind of fat. <laughs> I think you can make the determination. What the hell is going on? What'd you go <laughs> running off for? Um... Dress, Dress had come back and... He found a creature. It was it was very small and it had these horns and bat like wings. Last, those are crocodiles. <laughs> no, 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 no. Those those were summons that uh, um. Dre mm. <laughs> How easy to lie now, is it? I mean, I don't say that, but uh, all anyway. right. Anyway. So it'd, it'd basically just be easier to say that you're a druid at this point. <laughs> I think we're going to have to have a conversation and we could have this anywhere else at any other time. But I think now is the most important time, uh, time of all. 
Who the hell are you, and why are you on my train? And what the hell is going on? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you really do sell talking lizards. Yes. What have I been saying this entire time? I couldn't resist the fact that that was my answer to all those questions. I pick up the, I pick up the Drez lizard and start petting him, like, furiously. <laughs> He's so cute! Can't you see? I... I mean, he could do without the shoes, maybe. I, I push the lizard into the, uh, into Brungren and I say, Give him pet and tell me you don't love him. I am not much of an animal person. We had to transport elephants I used to be an animal once. person. Literally. <laughs> Drez has experienced racism for the first he time. He's very confused by this. <laughs> okay, so you also, all of you guys are just covered in soot. Drez is uh, not very green at the moment. He is very much just like, it looks like he he went through a one of those combination uh, chimney uh, laundry machine combos that nobody has ever used. And he did what not come out the good end of it. What the hell are you talking about? What's a chimney <laughs> laundry machine? Exactly. It doesn't exist, but that's what it looks oh. like he came out of. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have so many questions now. For when you want your clothes to become filthy, <laughs> put them up the chimney. For that authentic if... chimney sweep style. Yeah, for the oh. authentic uh, industrial revolution. Uh, <laughs> the next trend appearance. in hipsterdom. Ugh. Lung cancer. Oh, man. Oh, okay. So, uh, apart from the fact that you're telling the truth about having talking lizards, why are you on my train? Because there is no way you are our salesman. I'll believe that you have a talking lizard, but this is, uh, you have a talking lizard that summons lizards. <laughs> a lizard wizard, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Does it shut up? <laughs> I suddenly don't want it to talk. <laughs> <laughs> the novelty so, has worn off. Officially, it's so hard as to of... lie when you are making me laugh so much. <laughs> the, the, the summary of our last six years of videos. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I need a second to collect myself. Um. <laughs> <sighs> Well, Elorin, shall we come clean? We we came on this train because we knew something terrible was going to happen. And we didn't know what, but we knew that we needed to be here to help. So, you're adventurers then? Exacto mundo, my friend. You know, you could have actually just said that from like minute one. And um, not worn those goofy costumes. I, uh, I suppose to do our costumes poof. I mean, I've had the mythical. Yeah, well, so stuff. glamour, glamour is kind of like, yeah, sort of. I, I, it poofs if you want it to poof. You still look <laughs> like it. <laughs> you still look like armor. it. It's just this guy makes glamoured armor for a living, so he kind of knows exactly what it's looking like. <laughs> I rolled a perception. I thought it looked check, cool, like, but a I while guess ago. I did. It did not. Also, I mean, the fact that you guys are incredibly well armed is a dead giveaway. Yes, we were sent here. We had the uh, for 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 knowledge. Uh, we knew what was going to happen. Uh, we were sent here because a a what are they called? An inevitable told us that we needed to be in here at the right place at the right time. So, like uh -huh. it or not, we are here bound by destiny. Uh-huh. I'm, a... I'm not yep, even lying right you. now. He believes you. Roll a bluff check, but he probably believes you. That was more or less grounded in the truth. No, you get you get advantage <laughs> on this one. You're telling 90% of it. Yeah, you're good. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, he believes you. He is 100% yeah. on board with what you are doing right now. And he dog. Is, he is... Ready to actually get to, to investigating. Like, seriously, you could have told me and I would have threatened you with the wrench repeatedly. 
and well, roll, an, you know, roll another bluff check. <laughs> <laughs> we've never we've never been on quest with inevitables before. I assume that you had to keep it more under wraps. You know? I actually don't know what one of those is, but that I mean that's that's be, that's besides the point. The point is, oh. you're here to help, and I get that, and I respect that, and let's get to finding who killed my brother. Well, we we did somewhat. It like Morn said, it it seemed to be some kind of demonic entity entity, and it's responsible for all of the soot. So, uh, that's the thing. This this entire this entire train is a magic circle against evil, sort of. Uh, you can't get demons on unless you actively bring one on and summon and or summon one here. Which is why the box makes sense. The trust trust me. We checked the box. The box is clean. Then Then it must have been brought on the train by other means. But the That's what I've been trying to tell you. Actually where where did that little thing go? It just flew out the window. Is it possible? Do we have access to, to get on top of terrain? Uh, yes. Though, obviously, it's kind of unsteady ground because you're on a moving, uh, fast-moving object. But yeah, mm. you can get up there. I could get up there. Oh, yeah. Or well, I mean, I if you stand at your full... Lizard. If you stand at your full height, you can just uh, put your head above the top. Like, you're kind of hunched over all the time in this train. Oh. Alright. Excord on me. Okay. I go outside, and I peek on top of terrain. Okay, <laughs> so you get, like, just barely your big ogre nose uh, to crest it, and you can you can see there's nothing... Well, roll a perception check. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, you don't see much. However, you do see, um, you do see that uh, there is. Eh, you know what? He's eh, no, you can't see it. You do see that there's some ash, like a little ways down, like kind of a splotch of ash on one section of the train, and it looks mm. kind of big. Uh. I, uh, I, I motion for the rest to come over here. I, I command the rest to come over. as a human. <laughs> I don't know, not a human. Drez, I think I see a spot of ash. I don't really trust myself to have good footing to get up there. But, uh, you have natural climbing ability when you're a lizard, yes? You're going to kill me. Not intentionally. That doesn't change the the effect. He won't be able to bring Does... his crocodiles with him. How will? Oh. I see a skit man all of a sudden. Yeah. So Skitter <laughs> Skitter stops hiding, uh, and he's like, "I killed a thing." Wait, wait! Oh, you, what? you killed it? He sn he sneakily attacked it as it went by, for the remaining sixteen damage needed to kill the thing. Wait, wait! Where's its body? Uh, that's what I was gonna try and tell you. Uh. He notices that uh, Brungren is uh, coming back and he hides again. Natural 20. He fades from existence. But uh, you, <laughs> hear, you hear over <laughs> your uh, sending stone. But uh, when I, I... I just chucked a dagger at it. I mean, it looked nasty. And then it exploded into... Oh, wait, no. He chucked his hammer at it. Sorry. Uh, it exploded into, into just a black cloud and then gone. Was I supposed to do that? I hope I was. Uh, 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 um. Not, I'm mostly just sitting it, out here watching the world go by and then killing things occasionally. What other things? things have what you else killing? have you killed? Well, that's number one. <laughs> I'm down for number two. I'm feeling kind of pumped right now. Uh, don't get to have yourself, Skip Man. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll be out here if you need me. Uh, I saw. Uh, I mean, should I keep with you guys or should I just keep kind of like hanging out and looking for things? Because I've mostly just been keeping an eye on Gelato. Keep an eye on Gelato. We want to make sure we have eyes on uh, all passengers at all times. Okay. Uh, why Gelato, though? Huh. Uh, it. Because he doesn't care about the annoying one. True. Or the mean one. <laughs> um. It seems the creature met its own demise. 
it it's smeared across the roof of the car. I go over and poke one of the remaining crocodiles. <laughs> that means she has to do a bluff check, right? Yeah, make a bluff check. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is see. explicitly a lie. Well, it is smeared across the top of the car. I'm just not saying who killed it. Let's see. So I need to do deception. And... No. Oh. Um, <laughs> okay, can I... So uh, he... But I get a plus one because of bard stuff because so, of the necklace, right? So and... here's what happens. Um, Lorian, Lorian doesn't look convinced, but she never looks convinced about anything because you can't see her face. Um, but you notice Brungren kind of look over at the wall of the train and he puts out like a trembling hand and he just brushes it up and down and it's like... I knew you could do it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled a natural one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the, the only person better at lying. Oh, never mind. Oh, good god. You guys have the best trading wheels right now. The literal most gullible dwarf. <laughs> what so... are the crocodiles up to? How long do they last? One hour. Oh God! Jesus man. Christ! We're keeping yeah. yeah. the army of crocodiles. <laughs> I, 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 they're here for I a just, while. Holy I pick shit, up one spell. of the crocodiles and sling it over my shoulder to keep keep with me. What is this spell? It's conjure <laughs> animals. Gonna, gonna oh be a crocodile. It's like the point of druids. God. <laughs> oh God. It is a concentration <laughs> spell, but like. What the fuck? That is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, they can all die. It's true, but like, for how for how much HP and like damage and other things There's you can do, that's, that's nuts. Just Summoning if sucked I... in in third edition. Now it's like just, stupid. Just summon a. Just imagine if I summoned the challenge reading two monster. <laughs> yeah, well, I was looking at it. You yeah, can boost really. the spell later on, so you can. Uh, summon twice as many slot. with like a fifth level spell yeah. slot. Oh god! <laughs> I'm just imagining a rain of crocodiles. It's crocodiles. <laughs> it's rain and crocs. Ah, <laughs> hallelujah! <laughs> can I dual wield crocodile? How I don't know how heavy are they and how much can you carry? I can. This, I this becomes can a carry. genuine stat question at some point. Uh, I'm probably getting up there if I'm carrying around a 19-foot crocodile. How heavy is an adult crocodile? They're uh, really heavy. 2.2 thousand pounds. Uh, I'm uh. not picking up this crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> I attempt to, and then, like, jank out to my back a little, and then just give a crocodile, like, I just give it a little pet on the schnoz. It crocodiles <laughs> at you. It is so <laughs> crocodiles. You're so lucky that these are not real crocodiles. <laughs> now, based off of the description of this thing, uh, what all, what other distinguishing features did it have, Drez? The imp. Have you ever seen a gold bat? <laughs> yeah. Drez, the voice I, in the sky reminds you, you have a monster manual. Oh shit! Speaking of Pokemon, I can pull out my Pokedex. <laughs> do I have a monster manual? No, yeah, you do. Yeah. Greg it's, has it's a, my monster manual. It's no, uh, you got all your stuff back, and then it was resized yeah, for you. But it's but it's all in Greg's inventory. Oh, yeah. I don't have I don't, the, uh, I don't have a bag on my threads. tiny druid. Okay. Mer Merrick did offer to resize literally everything for you if you wanted it. God, changing back would suck so bad at that point. You just <laughs> have like, to find Merrick again, and by the way, you have Chalk to summon be him whenever you want. You have to summon him. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully the book is not... I'm, is not... I'm trying to make this transition smooth so you remember to use your shit Minuscule. instead of ignoring it because I'm too small. <laughs> I mean, that's not not remembering, that's literally not knowing it was an option. Well, I was trying I'm going to be explicit. To, uh, I open up the monster manual and look okay. for the thing. So in the most Which recent is apparently page, the size of your thumb. <laughs> okay, so in the most, yeah, this is this is teeny. You're actually having uh, make a manipulate monster manual check, dexterity. Uh, oh no, that's the. I was step. doing this explicitly to try and speed up the campaign, but sure, we can do. This okay, way. you managed to adeptly flip through books. You now have proficiency in tiny books. <laughs> um, so the most recent two entries are Croc NATO 
and <laughs> an ash imp. An ash imp. Yep. So the ash imp is a uh, a small uh, demonic creature, uh, usually an offshoot of a much larger, more dangerous one, used for scouting and uh, assassination. Scouting and assassination, huh. but for what? What? Hey, what did there used to be a genie in this room? Uh, every uh, <laughs> Brungren kind of like piles over and like stares and is like, "That that's bad, right?" Well, and, and, and the crocodiles didn't. <laughs> the crocodiles didn't eat him, uh, right, Drez? Drez, you've already talked. Just do it more. <laughs> I was thinking of an answer. Oh, okay. Uh, it wasn't there. Okay, good. He wasn't there. Uh, yeah, so... I wonder where he could have gone. It, is it possible for these ash imps to eat people, or do they just incinerate them? Or is there more ash in the room than there was before? Well, there has to be more ash in the room than there was before. Because we're covered yeah, there in is, it. There is a lot more ash. But there's nothing left behind of the genie. No, not necessarily. No. Oh, you don't know. Uh, I will. I will do. Uh, I'll investigate. Okay, so That's you start good. searching around the room, and after a little while, you can find. Can I can I sing a little like bardic? Looking for sure. genie sure. parts. I almost never use that feature, so you can do it whenever you want. Of our ethereal friend. Okay, roll your bonus. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, well, on? Oh, yeah. I need to roll a die eight now. The crocodiles are now loudly dancing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So with that roll, you find a bunch of things in a pile uh, behind one of the boxes that seems to have been hastily moved. Oh, and what's what what's comprises this pile? You find a blue tunic, a belt. Actually, four things. Blue tunic, a belt, a hammer that is way larger than you, and a mask. Oh, I and they are just ashy and uh dirty. Uh, they need a good wash. Brungrin, Lorn, could you could you see this? I'm not going to move it, but that is that is most definitely bad. So uh, I knew that we should have we should have taken him to safety before leaving him there. We didn't. Oh. And without his mask, they die, right? Uh, no. That was more a stylistic thing. I think it's magic. Yeah, it's definitely magic. We'll need to pour the one out for the homie. Well, we do... I mean, we got, like, a shit ton of brandy. We can mm. pour many out if we really want to. But let's find my brother's killer first. Because I don't think that, yeah, that imp of yours was it. Pouring one out for a genie just seems insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> as things that live, live inside paladin, of beverage containers and I'd say well there's your uh, there's a confirmation of demonic presence knew it have you found anything else I've been protecting uh, Brungren here alright now I, I should come up with a different voice for this I've been protecting Brungren here <laughs> <laughs> oh hello I mean, got, like, I'm Andre of Astra <laughs> there we go I I've uh I will admit I'm I'm letting you do the investigations. I am not uh yeah. I'm I'm a hunter in name only. I fight them, I don't find them. Unfortunately my partner was uh, mixed up in the scuffle last uh, last week. So I've been uh without direction for quite some time. However, uh it seems like you you three have more than more than managed to do this. And you notice she gets quieter and quieter as everybody else gets closer. Uh. You think the genies are all right? <laughs> <laughs> Holy I... shit. <laughs> How did you do that? I have an empty coffee mug. <laughs> I, mean, I was just using my hand because I don't have anything made immediately available. Uh, here, I'll get I'll get some aluminum foil for next time so we can... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes it ring a little bit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> As we all rediscover like 2014 Wait, or whatever. Maybe, maybe if I talk to a tin can, no, that's, no, that's not good. Uh, no, you'll have to show they me your didn't care who I was until I put on the mask. <laughs> In this case, he took off the mask. <laughs> I get a copper can. Unfortunately, I'm just I'm no I'm no good at this. Oh, here we in, go. In this case, it's my. Okay, they didn't care who I was till I died in a box. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you know, good God! Wait, wait, to get off this train with wait, no wait. survivors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, so golly gee, willikers! If this thing was a scout. Does it serve an even larger being? That's what it says in the monster manual. Why would I demons mean, be the, interested the in this train? Of... Do they always serve demons or do they serve other beings as well? You mean, could the act as a familiar? Uh, it does seem to suggest that it is just part of uh, a scouting effort for perhaps like a larger demonic presence. Hmm. What about these doors that we have yet to have opened? It's really still it's still really screwing with me that that Greg is just a head sliding around on the floor. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, still, I'm, I'm like imagining this canonically as being that. <laughs> I go over okay. to the door and then oh never mind. Well, I'm opening it up preemptively because this takes some time. So you find a room that is actually fairly clean. Um, there's one notable exception. You notice that there, um, there is uh, actually... It looks like this room has not been cleaned in a little while. Uh, so it looks like maybe somebody's been here. Like the sheets have been moved and like one of the drawers is like partially open. Uh, let's, uh, rifle, let's just rifle through the doors, I guess. I'll even throw in an investigation check. That was wrong button. That might have been the right button. Okay, you got it. Uh, okay. so this room, this room has been slept in within the past, like, uh, 24 hours. And, um, I mean, with that, there's kind of a distinct odor of feet. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Who has strong foot odor? Uh, aside from myself. Your other foot? Maybe the halfling? <laughs> Valid point. <laughs> yeah. Halflings have gross feet, right? <laughs> They're hairy, too. Yeah. And have you seen those stupid faces? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. Of course not. He's still unconscious dead. Uh... Uncon Did you say unconscious dead? Yes. Well, I didn't stop to check. I had bigger fish fries. <laughs> he was oh, awake man. like seconds before you guys came to that cart. Oh, yeah, that's true. He got tail whipped. Okay, I open up the doors. It's my okay. greatest victory. So, uh, they, they look like they're, uh, pretty empty. Uh... It doesn't look like anybody's been storing things in there. It really just looks like somebody slept in this room. All right. And, and while he's doing that, does this room have the nice clothes? Yes. That, okay. Well, they were nice. I see. They are currently covered in soot and ash and, and dwarf spaghetti. Is the dwarf... Does, does the dwarf still have the sending stone in his possession? No. No. You, you ring the bell, and you do not hear anything or see anything. Then what was the... Oh. Well, Drez, why did you... Uh, uh, I can't ask these questions because it's meta game thing. I, mm -hmm. I thought that he was supposed to have a sending stone, and that was why he was called here. Aye. Uh, he always had it on him, around his neck. Oh. Uh... Uh... Yeah. Hey. So was it incinerated in the process? Uh, that would be the working theory. Yes. I mean, I don't, I don't see his staff either. Hmm. Or his hat, or much of anything else that he had on him of any use. Just his boots. 
Yeah. And all the ash is also very much like the demons. Yeah, it looks it looks to all be kind of the same. Who killed Alduin Ironhammer? Who killed Orman? Who is summoning these demons? And will the uh, will the party ever realize that they're here to steal the train, not save it? Uh, these are questions that you'll just have to find out next time on Dungeons and Dragons: Grave of Man. <laughs>